Hey, it's Ryan from Majingo.com. In this video series, I want to talk about how I create the courses for Majingo. And I thought instead of just doing a technical tutorial, which isn't always interesting, but it can be, uh, I wanted to start even further back with how I come up with the ideas for the courses and how I manage those ideas and even store them. So we'll start with this box right here, appropriately labeled brain. Uh, this is where I store all of the ideas I have for all sorts of things, but one of them being for the courses. And uh, this is just one of these cardboard uh, index card storage boxes. A, a, a collection of index cards that I've been putting together for about the last two years or so. And there's, there's not a ton of them in there, but it's really enough for, for how I'm using it. I originally just started collecting index cards because I thought it was a nice way of tracking things that allowed me to physically sort through them and see what I have and write notes on them and things like that. Uh, tracking information like this really never worked for me digitally. I've tried things Evernote, I've tried uh, other tools, and I felt like that the index cards were always the best way for me to track them. I, I did a little bit more research on this and I realized that there's actually a, uh, a fairly well-known person. His name is uh, uh, Nicholas Lumen, and he was a uh, sociologist uh, from Germany. I think he died in 1998, but very well known for, for the work that he did in his field, but also sort of a cult following for his um, card catalogs that he had, which were a series of wooden uh, drawer sets where he kept all of his research in some sort of organization that he knew, and it helped him piece together ideas and thoughts and references um, and that's how he wrote his books, was by piecing those together. And so I started to refine my system and realized that this is how I could also use something uh, for storing the material before I create a course. So uh, the German word for this is Zettelkasten, which is what they call um, uh, Lumen's uh, card catalogs. And if you look online for L-U-H-M-A-N-N, -N, I'll, I'll put a link with the video, you can see some of uh, some video of his card catalogs. They're amazing. They're, of course, over the course of his career, so they're, they're huge. But this is a very uh, humble, small version of that that's set up for my use and how I want to use it. This box is organized by, kind of by topic or area. Um, it has kind of changed a little bit. The, uh, I have things like lessons, and these here are ideas that I have for lessons that I want to do. And so what happens is every time I have an idea, I will then uh, take a fresh card and then write the idea down on it and, uh, and then file it away where it belongs, if it's under lessons or if it's on a certain topic. I've started to break out of doing you know, a section for lessons and a section for courses that I have here and trying to file them away by topic. Uh, it seems to be, make a bit more sense, but I have so many under lessons and courses that it's just really easy for me to grab my course cards here and go through and start to plan out the next two or three courses that I want to do based on ideas that I've already had. Because I could never keep all of this in my head. I could certainly keep it on lists, but consider these um, my lists. Uh, let's see, so I have things here for marketing, for business, business ideas. Um, I have a whole a huge section on learning. Um, I've been reading a lot about learning techniques and research. And so what I do is when I read a book, I'll take some of these, let me see if I can find them, these little mini post-it notes. And uh, when I'm reading a book and I want to mark a passage or something that I want to come back to, either to reread it or to record it on a card to file away, I just drop one of these on there. A lot of people will write in the margins, underline, fold pages. I don't do that because I don't own all of the books that I read. A lot of the books I read uh, are from the library and I want to make sure that I can uh, mark them in a way that doesn't harm the book uh, and ruin it for the next person that will have the book. So I just have taken to using these little uh, post-it notes here. And when I'm done with the book, I let it sit for a little bit and then I go back to it and I take the post-it notes off and I typically will have a, you know, a stack of cards sitting in a pen and I will make notes on the cards from any of the post-it notes uh, where I still feel like that item is something that I want to record. A lot of times I'll look at it and be like, well, like at the time that kind of felt important, but with a little bit of space between reading and, and reviewing, it actually isn't that important, so I'll skip it. But the ones that do 
uh, make it onto a note card, then get filed into here. So as an example, my learning one, I've taken a lot of notes in there. Uh, here's one, a, a pretty big one on web performance. Um, I have a course on web performance testing. And when I was doing my research, I made notes on that. And I also made notes for different sections of the course. And I uh, took these cards then, and I was able to lay them out on the floor or on a table and start to organize my ideas for how I want to approach it. And then once I'm done organizing it, um, the cards then go back in here because I want to refer to them later because they could trigger some ideas that I have or tickle an idea that I had and I forgot about. This is my, my Tsetokasten or my card catalog, catalog box as it is right now. It's ever growing. It started in a little plastic box, kind of grew into this. I'll grow out of this, you know, probably before the end of the year. It takes time to, to build up the cards because you just don't want to throw anything in there. It should really be stuff that that uh, feel like will be meaningful to you later on. One of the things I really like about it is that if I feel stuck um, or if I feel like I'm uh, just kind of foggy and unsure like what to focus on next, I'll flip through it. Uh, I'm just looking for things to trigger ideas that I've had, things that I've read um, that didn't really uh, get set in my in my brain and I'm trying to, to trigger those again. And that's what this, this box is really all about. And that's why I uh, call it my brain, where we all read and consume so much information. We can't possibly remember all of it. And a lot of it we forget. And I found that this is a really handy way for me to store that information. And in fact, to, uh, to show you an application to this, in order to do this little video, I pulled out some cards I had on uh, Zettelkasten and, uh, and Lumen things I wrote about this when I was reading more about uh, how people were using these, these card catalogs. And I pulled those out and they helped me sort of orient myself to talk about it in this video. So again, they're super handy. Now that I'm done with this, I can take these cards and then drop them back into uh, where they belong. We'll just put them in uh, learning for now. I think that's a good spot for them. So this is the first step for me to create a course, which is to do the research, write my research down onto cards and then file those cards away and organize the cards and turn that into a course. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about when I have the cards organized, how I start then writing the course. All right, thanks a lot for watching. You can check out all of my video courses for web designers and web developers at Majingo.com.